Good morning. Happy Tuesday. It's a cool, sunshiny day here in North Carolina with snow in the forecast tonight. So I got up early this morning and got a long run in, so if I need to take off a day or two, it'll be okay. It's been a beautiful day though. I'm really excited to see the sun shining before the snow comes. Sun makes me happy. And I know some of you probably suffer from some seasonal depression and stuff. So whenever the sun's shining, try to get out there and get five to ten minutes of sunshine. Maybe you won't have to bundle up too much so it actually hits your skin. But sun does make a person happy. It helps with your vitamin D. And in the winter, we tend to get a little bit deficient in that. So if it's sunny where you are today, get outside and get in a few minutes. On the blog today, I wrote about finishing. I get lots of emails and comments on Facebook about routines. And the things that I see people struggle with is just getting through the six simple daily routines that are part of morning, afternoon, evening. I always have them here on my little door. I look at it if I feel like I need to know what the next thing is, but generally I have worked my way through the list and I haven't even thought about it. Work on that before bedroom bed routine first. Get yourself set up for a successful launch to your day the next morning by doing that before bed routine. In the morning, move through your routine quickly. Where I see people struggle with the morning routine is they add things to it or they take too long to do parts of it. I understand, you know, if some of the people that I mentor it takes a little bit longer for them to get moving in the morning. That's okay work that into your time schedule and what you have to work out your morning routine. If you're doing swish and swipe during morning routine and you're taking 15 minutes, you're taking too long. Swish and swipe should take less than two minutes. I wipe my shower walls, my bathtub, my sinks, counter, and swish my toilet every morning, two minutes. I don't let it drag me into doing a lot of detail stuff. That's what we're doing this week with our zone missions in the bathroom is the detail cleaning. So you've got to find that balance. I've had an email this morning about dusting. Do I dust every day? No, I dust once a week. That's what the fly lady recommends. That's what works for me. If I had pets in the house, it might be different, but we don't have any pets that are in the house all the time. Um, the little dog comes through every now and then, but it's not anything big. So I do a quick dust every week, and then when I'm working in zones, I do my detail dusting. I don't dust every day. Now we do sweep every day, but that's because we live in the country, in the woods with a lot of dirt. And even though the boys clean their shoes off before they come into the house, we still have um, crumbs and dirt on the floor. So we do sweep every day, but we don't dust every day here. Today for your missions, I want you to declutter underneath the, the bathroom sink. If you've got a cabinet, a drawer, whatever it is. Declutter for five to ten minutes. It shouldn't take too long because usually those storage areas are pretty small and compact. Declutter there and then go to your laundry room and give it a quick sweep and a quick mop. You'll be making your laundry room look great this week and you'll be getting that bathroom done too. So together those two missions shouldn't take you more than 20 minutes. Just don't let yourself get caught up in the bathroom really spending too much time in there decluttering and doing that swish and swipe. Move along quickly. Menu plan tonight's easy for us. It's gonna be Taco Tuesday. After today, we'll reuse our leftover meat that we cooked today for Wednesday night and Thursday night. And that way, we're gonna save time on our busier days this week by having our meat at least pre-cooked. We just have to rewarm it and add seasoning to whatever else we're gonna do with it. So I keep things simple when I know that I have a busy week. If I have to have a day that I'm away from the house, I plan a menu that's easy to fix when we get home, or I pick up a rotisserie chicken on the way home, and that's dinner. We don't do a whole lot of takeout, drive throughs or any of that. We do have the occasional pizza night. But I try to keep people doing their routines and moving along however it doesn't stress them out. So if it helps you to menu plan simple so you can work on those routines, do that. Pick up a rotisserie chicken the day that you grocery shop. You don't have to cook from scratch every single day of the week, but you can still eat healthy. Good morning, Lynn. She says she's going to miss my live videos because she's going to have to watch them later in the day. She got a job. Congratulations. I'm really happy for you. Today, I'm about 30 minutes later than usual because I added in a couple of extra miles to my run. 
and it was such a be beautiful day out there I really enjoyed it and tomorrow if there's very much stuff on the ground and on the sidewalks I'll be taking a rest day good morning Leisha are you guys expecting snow over that direction I know that I'm watching it track away um, across Tennessee and it's going through the different towns where I know family and friends so I'm keeping an eye on that weather we have everything we need grocery wise um, we have extra water if we need it I have things in place so that we're ready if we're snowed in for a couple of days we will not starve around here I can promise you Leisha says yes they've got snow coming their way too I think this has been a colder winter than last year and I try not to whine too much about the cold but it does change things if you have water freeze like I did a few weeks ago if you have weather and you can't get back out Alicia says she just got back from the store to grab a couple of things well at least she got it in early um, if you live anywhere in the south and snows in the forecast you guys know what the grocery store looks like people get into a panic buying all the milk bread and eggs and who knows what they're going to cook with that but they've got to have the milk bread and eggs for me I need proteins and water so everybody has their things but it's always fun to see those pictures of the empty bread shelves in the south whenever snows in the forecast so I'm sure that the shelves in Tennessee have probably been hit pretty hard watching how that snows tracking let me know down in the comments what your extra room is this week if you're not working on the laundry room along with me tell me what your extra room is several of you commented yesterday and I'm really proud of you guys for picking an area that needed attention. If you've got kids and their bedrooms need some attention, use that as your extra zone. And if they're gone to school during the day, you can always get rid of a few things that need to be decluttered that they hadn't let go of. Just don't let go of their favorite things, but you know, they usually have some little cheap junk toys that need to go. So take care of that while they're at school and use a black trash bag. They won't know the difference. Lynn is working in her office Home offices get dumped on, especially this time of year with papers and getting ready for taxes. So great job working on decluttering in the office, Lynn. I want all of you to have a great day. Go hit those zone missions, swish and swipe quickly. If any of you can swish and swipe and do everything that I do in less than two minutes, let me know. But I have timed myself several times and I know it takes right at two minutes to wipe my shower walls, my bathtubs, do the sinks, counter, and swish that toilet and then I'm done. No deep cleaning for me in my bathroom. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the morning. Leisha is working on her music room, and she wants to finish clearing it out before she paints. She's been sharing some of her pictures of her progress along the way in Fly Lady Premium's Facebook page, and that's where our members have a place to share what they're working on, and she's done a fantastic job on her music room. So great job, and tell the kids I said hello, Leisha. Talk to you guys later.